Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly subscribe and click the bell notification button to get updated on all our new videos. As the 2023 general elections draw nearer, politicians contesting for governorship and deputy governorship position in Lagos State have submitted documents that capture their age and educational qualifications. The list pasted on the notice board of the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC, along Bural in Yaba on Tuesday, 5 October 2022, show that People's Democratic Party PDP governorship candidates presented a first school living certificate FLSC West African Senior School Certificate WAEC and Masters of Business Administration Certificate NBA Olachide is running mates and popular Nollywood actress Funke Akindele submitted only a four school living certificate FLSC and West African Senior School Certificate WAEC to INEC as our educational qualifications. Labour Party governorship candidates Mr. Agbade Borodas Vivo is contesting with four school living certificates and a degree. Governor Babajide Sonwo Olu, who is also the governorship candidate of all the Progressive Congress APC, is contesting with four school living certificates FSCL. BSC and NBA. His running mate and deputy governor of the state, Dr. Opafemi Amzat, is contesting with a primary school certificate, WAHEC, BSC, and PhD. Amzat is the only candidate on the list with the highest educational qualifications. So, guys, Akinde Lebelo Olufuke Ayotunde. Born 24 August 1977, popularly known as Funke Akindele or Jennifer, is a Nigerian film actress and producer. Funke Akindele stayed in the sitcom I Need to Know from 1998 to 2002, and in 2009, she won the African Movie Academy Award for Best Actress in a Leading Role. She rose to fame for her role in the movie titled Jennifer, which earned her the nickname Jennifer. The Omogeto trilogy contributed to her fame. Funke Akindele played the lead role in the show Jennifer's Diary, for which she was named the best actress in a comedy at the 2016 African Magic Viewers' Choice Award. Again, at the 2020 and 2022 AMBCA, she took home the same award, making it a third win for the Best Actress in a Comedy category. In 2022, she was nominated by the People's Democratic Party gubernatorial candidate Abdul Aziz Olajide Adenero as the running mate for the 2023 Lagos State Governorship election. Funke Akindele was born 24 August 1977 in Ikorodu, Lagos State, Nigeria. She is the second of three children, two girls and one boy. Her mother is a medical doctor, while her father is a retired school principal. She attended Grace Children's School, Bagada, Lagos State. She obtained an ordinary national diploma. OND in mass communication from the former Ogun State Polytechnic, now known as Moshud Abiola Polytechnic. She earned a law degree from the University of Lagos. Funke Akindele came into the limelight after steering in the popular United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, sponsored sitcom I Need to Know which ran from 1988 to 2002. 
Funke Akindele played BC, a courier but highly intelligent secondary school student. Funke Akindele's big break came in 2008 when she appeared in the movie Jennifer. In January 2018, there was a controversy when it was reported that Funke Akindele would get a Hollywood debut in Marvel's Avengers Infinity War as she was listed as a member of the cast on IMPD. Mainstream Nigerian press reported that Funke Akindele was set to star in Infinity War as a guard Dora Milaje, citing IMDb. Some weeks later, her name was replaced with that of fellow Nigerian actress Genevieve Inanji, with Funke Akindele's upload show to have been her hack. In February 2018, it was reported that Senate President and Chairman of the National Assembly, Dr. Bukola Saraki, had advised Marvel Studio to future Funke Akindele in Infinity War. In a July 2016 interview, Funke Akindele stated she was acting less in the Yoruba film industry at that time because of piracy. Funke Akindele played the lead character in the ongoing hit TV show Jennifer's Diary alongside Fusayo Ajishola, Faust, Juliana Oloyede, and Adderomu Adejumoke. The show is a spin-off from the movie Jennifer. The 2018 comedy film Moms at Worcesters, Funke Akindele, and Omone Oboli. In July 2019, Funke Akindele started a new web series, Ayeto Town, a spin-off from a popular TV series, Jennifer's Diary. She is the CEO of Scene One Film Production. She made a directorial debut in the 2019 political drama film Your Excellency. Funke Akindele was nominated as a Lagos Deputy Governorship candidate on the People's Democratic Party Nigeria in the upcoming 2023 election. In justifying her nomination, Abdul Aziz Olajide Adenero, popularly known as Jan Dog, noted that. The actress will add more values to his candidacy in the 2023 general election. Confirming a deputy governorship candidacy on Tuesday, the actress stated that her acting career must be necessarily put on hold. Funke Akindele runs a non governmental organization known as the Jennifer's Foundation, which aims at providing young people with vocational skills. Funke Akindele has endorsement deals such as being signed as an ambassador to Deto and Euroco TV. In 2018, she was signed as a brand ambassador for Keystone Bank in November 2019. She signed an endorsement deal with Wow Nigeria, a company that manufactures detergents and bar soap. On 26 May 2012, Funke Akindele married Adeola Kendi Oloide. The couple divorced in July 2019, citing irreconcilable differences. Funke Akindele married Nigerian rapper JJ Skills in London in May 2016. Her pregnancy remarks were among the top search results on Google search engine in August 2017. Funke Akindele gave birth to twin boys in December 2018 and has several stepchildren. In April 2020, Funke Akindele was arrested and charged in court for hosting a birthday party in honor of her husband during the period of an imposed lockdown to tackle coronavirus. She later appealed in a Nigerian Center for Disease Control video to raise awareness about coronavirus. The actress and her husband were sentenced to a 14-day community service after pleading guilty to violating the lockdown order. 
and I'm Mori Omogeto, currently on the record of becoming the highest grossing movie of all the time in Nigeria, breaking the four-year record of Kemi Adetiba's movie titled The Wedding Party. According to a statement broadcast by the Cinema Exhibitors Association of Nigeria in January 2021, the movie grossed 468 million. 36,300 after maintaining its number one spot for three consecutive weeks. Well, guys, there you have it. As the 2023 general elections draw nearer, politicians contesting for governorship and deputy governorship position in legal states have submitted documents that capture their age and educational qualifications. Thank you all for listening to that and please don't forget to like, subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.